Welcome to BRBP TV. Be real, be positive. It's your host, Mr. X. And right now, we are at the Postmouth Market. It's January 7, 2012. A new year has just started. And we already started this year with two murders taking place in broad daylight. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm really going to say this, but I'm still going to say it anyways. A happy new year to all the fans and friends of BRBP TV. Portsmouth has started on a bad note. It has ended on a bad note with the first murder taking place and the second murder taking place in the new year. This is not a good thing. No, I've heard people saying that there's not much people dying in Dominica because there's like one, two. But according to the United States statistics to that of Dominica, one person is with about 450 people. Two people died in a matter of eight days, which means over 900 people died. If you look at it, this, this shows that one person in Dominica is very valuable. So if one person dies, we have lost a lot of people. We have lost a lot of value to the community. But still, we are in the market now. We're going to see what the people have to say about the recent events that took place surrounding the murders. So let's go. We heard of the two murders that took place. What do you think of the recent events that are happening here in, the, in Portsmouth, actually? Well, it's not surprising that this level of violence has uh, reached our community. Um, in that, um, at, an, at, a, at a national level, there has been a serious decline in uh, employment opportunities. Um, as a journalist, um, based on the information I've got on the ground, that um, the indications are unemployment is, um, say, over 70%. And um, with um, agriculture um, being virtually non-existent and alternatives to even job creation and employment, people are filled with energies that they most likely will um, channel into other undesirable um, um, directions. Therefore, what we see now maybe the tip of the iceberg i think it's maybe only prayer good prayer that can get rid of those things you know because sometimes i back you here in school have um spirit you hear gang fighting with school children you hear people just shooting people and i, I can understand but that there is something there is a spirit in the post -mouth which need to Picked up. Mm -hmm. Well, it is a sad situation in Portsmouth, but with God on our side, we can make it better because there is the second tongue, and it is not a good, good thing about that drug and that killing. So, in this is in this new year, we asking for it to be better, a better community, and I wish best for the community of Portsmouth because it's there. We have to come and win our bread because there is our market. We have to come there every Saturday. And all in all, perhaps we are all scared because we are in all that killing and thing. So we are scared. So we're just praying that it could be better this year. To me, when I see things that happening, in not only in Portsmouth, in Dominica in, and the world, it really hurt to see what is happening. But the scripture must fulfill. The Bible talks about those things. So I don't have much faith about that. 
It just troubles me to see if you send a stone behind a dog, people get vexed. But people have gone shooting people. So people come worse than uh, uh, white right people come better than us. The government have to put things in order, like try to do their best to curb um, drugs. Because the problem with drugs is that too many people in society, in, in, you know, in society, in high society, involved in that drugs business. That is why it's difficult to curb it. You check? Because sometimes the police himself, themselves involved. You know? The doctors and them involved. The nurses and them involved. You check? A lot, a lot of people involved. So it's going to be a little difficult. It's going to be very difficult. But same drugs that causing those things to happen. Because it's drugs people are doing that. Have gone, all little boys have gone shooting at any little thing. You you fret because anything you tell them, if you tell the man, boy, you mustn't do that, they're ready to shoot you. You see? So, we live in that kind of, 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 of world today. We don't know what to do. So, as you said, all you have to do, continue pray. But the first thing, give yourself over to Jesus. And you will not be able to be living in fret. You have no fear because you know somebody cares for you. Because young people today come in a kind of a way, they don't respect nobody, children don't respect parents, parents don't respect what they do, they do, and they are ready to kill. Always in a kill. In a kill, you can't do, say nothing, you can't warn them, don't do that, they want to kill you. The, the, the socio-economic situation uh, um, can have a devastating effect on the young persons who become disillusioned, um, Many of the children, by the time they get to full form, they recognize that, um, well, look, last year X and Y graduated, and where are they? They are not employed. They're on the streets. They're in that corner. They're all over the place. So why should I continue to persevere, work hard, Decide. spend sleepless nights, um, trying to get um, um, through my exams, only to recognize that upon graduation, I'm back home. You're left by yourself. Yeah, abandoned, you know, with no alternatives. It is true that um, you've got some uh, programs. This uh, um, recently, you know, integrated program, um, whereby uh, you know people can access grants um, from various sources, you know, of government. But um, we it, we used to be um, familiar with um, a welfare program. But this is not a welfare program. This is a this is a program that encourages people to sit back, relax, sing a song, play the regular tune, and um, uh, try to access some money. You know, as one who is in need. So, in other words, the environment itself is not lending towards a more stable, stable um, you, you know, society. Oh, easy. Take it easy now. Take it easy now. Oh, hold on, hold on. Yeah, we got some general views for some people, but it seems like post people are a bit scared. They're a bit scared of what is happening. They don't want to come on camera. Next thing people see them, and next thing somebody comes and look for them. But it's not about that. It's really about elevating ourselves, trying to push a positive vibe. We are the diaspora people talking about how post mob is becoming dangerous and they don't feel like coming back and all that. But there's still positivity remaining in post mob. Yes, there's the bad as well as the good. So you have to keep in mind that all those bad things will happen. There's also the good side of things. Everywhere has its good and its bad. But the point of this is to try and elevate ourselves to become better in the community. So keep it locked. Be real. Be real. Be real. Be real. Being real is genuine. You must not be a force with being yourself. Be real. Be positive. Be positive. Be positive. Be positive. Be positive. Be positive. Be optimistic. Bright side of everything. Always believe that things can work, things can happen, that you can. Be real. Be positive. BRBT TV, BRBT TV, BRBT, what's up? One less preacher, one less shot. How who make God a one a man question? And me now say, it's a bad question.
Hmm? So, so you don't believe that there, there can be any change that can take place, any betterment? As you said, the Bible is fulfilling itself. No, we are trying to curve that. Do we have to necessarily join that kind of vibe that, has, that is happening, that is taking place, the trend that is taking place in the world? Okay. So is there any change that can take place? Change we can, can take is we have to put ourselves together in prayer. Except, the Bible tells you, except the, the Lord keep the city, the watchmen watch in vain. Hmm? Except the Lord build our house with the boy in vain. So that is where we have to go. If you all put your knees together, God will hear. But he said, first of all, if my people who are called by my name, but it's not everybody that have to do this, people that call by his name, repent, turn from your wicked way, seek his face and pray, he will heal the land. So what do you think can curve it though? Well, <laughs> we have to wipe out all the corrupt people and them that involved in it. Reform or wipe out? Which one? Reform. Reform. Change. They have to change those corrupt people that involved in it because too many corrupt people in, in the society there. In society. There is something wrong with our, our leaders, the, the, those who manage this country, you know? And uh, the type of thing now that, um, the type of things that have been glamorized that are. Uh, Seem to that seem to be the norm that seem to be acceptable. They are totally out of order. So it's going to take a, a sort of some sort of revolution. I'm talking about some social revolution with some sort of um, guarantor and uh, to uh, guarantor in the context that you've got a core of persons um, really willing to you know make a difference in the community. Get back to some of the old values, some of the resource persons who have been, um, you know, providing leadership. I remember as a youngster, there used to be debates, there used to be discussions, there used to be concerts, there used to be social activities that were beautiful. If you look at the whole, the whole scenario about around, the, around those killings, there is, is man that look, man that looking for more than want to get rich fast, you know. They want to get rich fast, and uh, and in that bad deals taking place. If a man give a man a bad deal, a man decide he's going to get him for that. And in this day and age, it's not that time when I was growing up, you find if man have a problem, we use um, physical force or punches and to defend ourselves in a fight. Man is knife and guns. So it's just, it's just the time, eh? The time is like that now. So, I mean, if it's going to happen again, I don't know. I hope not. You know what I mean? I prefer to know it, 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 it stop. Um, I think um, everything boils back to a system, I think, that um, is not being creative, it's not being innovative. It doesn't give young people the opportunity to be innovative and creative. And as a result, the young people saw it to go into drugs and other forms of crime to um, make a living. And uh, I believe to, um, it's based, it's, 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 it has to cause, it has, the cause of that too is, um, is a result we live in a society where young people, when they try to do something good, you'll find that they're being vilified and they're being oppressed by people in authorities, they're being oppressed by people in the lower sector of society. So the young people do not want to venture into um, creative thinking. They do not fulfill become um, being um, said being for, for people to be saying that they're crazy. They don't want to get into anything creative or, or innovative or inventive or industrious. So we, we create a culture where Young people are scared to get into business because of the level of oppression, the bad talk, the gossip, the melee associated with it. So they choose an easier form of life, which is selling drugs out on the street. And as a result, the drugs come with crime and criminal activities and then murder and, and all of these things. I do think that the citizens of the town has to realize that we have a serious crime problem in this town. We cannot be blind to this um, plague, which is now affecting our society. I mean, we had a murder to end the year, and the year started with a murder. I think the citizens of the town need to get their act together. I think that parents need to um, talk to their kids and ensure that they know where their kids are. Um, children themselves need to understand that, hey, at the end of the day, a life in crime isn't worth it. And we have made a serious mistake of glorifying criminals. And I think that at the end of the day, it makes the situation even worse. So we... As a community, we need to embrace each other, we need to love each other, we need to understand that at the end of the day, if we do not become each other's keepers, 
we will not um, be a prosperous, we will not be a solid, we will, we will not be a strong society. So I, I do hope that um, these murders will serve as a, a warning and they will serve as a wake-up call for the people of Portsmouth moving forward. So, I mean, if you look at it, you say it's not going to stop. You don't think it's going to stop. Well, I, but I don't, not, I don't think it's going to stop. I, I would like it to stop. I think it might may stop. Maybe it could just be that click. Because if you watch around Portsmouth, Portsmouth have a click. Different, different clicks. Where that click there is a click that feels they're a bad man. A bad man click. They feel they live. If you hear the way they song, they live by the gun, they die by the gun. So let's just hope it's not going to be a gun man out there. That, and, and seeing that the leader, I feel that guy, that, the last one that was killed, there is a leader. And by that, it might just should give, leave an example for the rest to behave themselves. So do, do you think it can change? I, I believe it can change, but then the societal culture of envy and jealousy and gossip and malice has to change. I think it can change. But we have to see it that when a young person ventures to become a good business person, you understand, and they, they, they seize the opportunity, they grab the opportunity, that we need to encourage them, you know, and not, not abhor them or reject them or make them feel dejected, you understand. And if they, have, if they continually are being harassed by the, the white sector of society, they will not seek to go into business and be creative like me. Because I am catching hells just trying to be Woody's, just trying to do something creative and to contribute holistically to my community. And people know, the young people know who are seeing me getting all that blows for being creative and being industrious and innovative. They do not want to carry my cross, my kind of cross. So they go into easier forms of, of living, which is the drugs. No, do you think it's gonna affect affect Ross in any way? Because I mean, students come down to Portsmouth; they think it's a safe environment. Hearing these things happening, do you think it might affect Ross in any way? Um, first of all, before I I, I, I come to that, you have to understand. Even the students are there. We look at the students and them like they are angels. They are not the angels, you know. That's the, the what is going, what happening. In a, a few, maybe just a 20 in a, in a month, in, in a year in Dominica, it happens every day, twice, 15 times a day around the surrounding. They're used to this kind of thing. Yes, granted, they come here because they think it's a nice, the parents have to send them because they're a peaceful, quiet country. And sometimes, only, only, not only that, maybe we have to consider that maybe that is the school, that is school they can afford. You understand me? So we, 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 we must not think that we have it so bad that we, that could run Ross. Ross is in a, is in a gold mine. He's not going to back out just like that. You understand me? So I don't think that it is not good. What is happening is not good. I'm not supporting it at all. We need to. We need we, one murder is too much in our country. You understand me? But um, development. We cry for development. Development going to bring such crimes. You know what I mean? And I think we, we have our hands on, on that quite well. We, we, I think our, are we, our citizens and police is handling that situation, if not good enough. I mean, not to the best, but I think they handle it pretty good. That, right, that is satisfactory enough that they... Because, you know, when I think about it, I don't think that's going to affect the school too much. I think what's, what the school looking to do right now is more to um, take back... If they used to live in this country, five million, they want to take back four million out of it to put back in their own kitty, to put back into America, to build up America's in economy. Yes, we started this year on a bad note, but it should not deter that change can be made and that we can develop ourselves into another positive sense of the word, of positivity. We can indeed make a change. We can indeed change ourselves if we put our minds and our heads together. And as most people said, to seek 